So we're joined by Tommy Lonergan after St. Pat's 3-1 victory over Bowes uh, here at the Aviva Stadium. Talk me through, the, I suppose, the game first of all, just to get yourself in. Well, obviously, the game was a bit cagey in the first half and obviously they got a pen on Afalabi put them 1-0 up and they had a few chances to go nearly two up and it was looking a bit cagey but then Mark Doyle came in with an unbelievable header and then I don't know what happened for the second goal but we scored the second goal and an OG, yeah. OG exactly but as soon as we scored that second goal I knew we were going to win the game because I knew the momentum was, was with us and the fans were behind us and I could just feel it in, in myself and the lads even on the bench I knew when I came on I just had to make an impact and thank God I did. Talk me through the actual goal itself as you had to dispossess a Bowles player to get yourself in there and then it looked like you took maybe one touch extra. Yeah. But talk me through from your own point of view. Uh, I think it was just like a, maybe a sloppy pass into the Bowles midfielder and I just kind of seen the ball. He, I knew he was going to take maybe a poor touch to his side and then I just nicked it off him and then I just went in on goal and I kind of seen, I didn't think the keeper was going to know that I was going to shoot off the back so I just hit it and uh, thank God I hit the back of the net and I was, I was buzzing, yeah. What about that feeling when the, when the ball did hit the net and, and just kind of the scenes afterwards? Honestly, it was a bit of an out-of-body experience, to be honest. I've never really felt anything like it with the adrenaline running through me and stuff. and didn't even realise I took my top off, but uh, oh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, stuff of dreams, like stuff of dreams of kids. I was watching this final two years ago, hoping that I'd be able to play in it. And I came on today and scored it, so dreams can come true if you work hard enough. And just obviously on the crowd itself, packed uh, Aviva Stadium, uh, sellout crowd and uh, obviously a, a record attendance as well. So that was obviously brilliant to do that in front of a record attendance. And it looks as though that's going to hopefully be the bar now for the next number of years. Exactly, like the attendance, the attendances this year from the League of Ireland, even in league games, has been unbelievable. So when I heard it was going to be a sellout today, obviously I was nervous, but it's history like uh, with that many people in it just shows the how big the League of Ireland's grown and hopefully it was a good showing today and hopefully it encourages more people to go to more games next year and keep promoting the league and keep making young players and hopefully that they can push on and do great things. Yeah, you seem to make a habit of scoring big goals in big games last year. You did it for UCD, now you did it for St. Pat's. Uh, big night on the cards then, is it? Oh yeah, there won't be an empty bottle in Inchicore tonight, <laughs> but uh, yeah, oh, it's going to be an unbelievable night and uh, all the lads, all the work they've put through and the gaffer that's put the lads through the paces all year and <sighs> I know inside that dressing room, I know how much all them boys deserve that and they've got it tonight and we'll be celebrating hard tonight. Absolutely, listen, I won't keep you any longer. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Congratulations.